Hey LGBTV, today I'm filming from Penn State's LGBTA Student Resource Center. I've been non-stop busy all week, so at work is the only time I'm able to film right now, and today I'll be answering questions that you guys sent me on Tumblr. Dr. Julia asked, how can I be as perfect as you? To assist in answering that question, here is one of our other interns, Michael. How can you be as perfect as me, Michael? First, you want to wear stilts. Second, you want to dye your hair blonde. Third, you want to pay way more to dye your hair blonde than is sane in any sense of the word. And that is how to be as perfect as me. Do you think I'm awesome, Rebecca? It's just been no. a lot of things to do today. This is my boss. <laughs> okay. okay. Rainbow Pandas 23 asks, can I have a hug? Sure. Furbalicious asks, what's a positive thing you've experienced since coming out? Meeting me! No. Probably one of the most positive things about coming out is the community that you find after you come out as being lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, or an ally. Like, I'm filming from the center where we had like three dozen people in here earlier, um, eating lunch, doing homework, and just having a safe space to be. You meet so many excellent people from so many different backgrounds that being in the LGBT community is just basically the best diversity training that you will ever have. Peru Pao asked, what advice would you give to people who live in small towns who could be harmed if they come out? If you think that you're going to be in physical danger by coming out, the best advice that I can give you is to not come out. If you're in high school, wait until you go to college and definitely try to go somewhere else for college and get out of the small towns because small towns tend to be more conservative. Um, and I'm even just in a town of 80,000 people and we have this liberal bubble because Penn State's here. Find friends who you can talk to and who can support you along the way because just shutting yourself up is a really bad idea. So having a few allies, even if you can't tell your parents or be completely out, that's going to be a lifesaver. Ah. DD23Muel asks, where's the weirdest place you've ever waxed? And I don't want to answer that question, but I know my friend Josh will. Well, like, wax-wise, it's just like my face, like, here. Your face? And, like... You're going to say your dick. I have nared before. Really? Mm -hmm. That hurts. It's... no. Don't use nair. Ever. I can't imagine wax would be much better. Wax isn't bad. It's not really that bad. Get over it. It's not that bad. So luckily, those are all the questions that you guys sent me for today. Uh, but I do want to talk about one other project that I've been involved with lately um, through the It Gets Better project. The LA Gay Men's Choir is coming to my town um, on Thursday um, to do their show. And then I'm part of a monologue reading directly after the show. And it's possible that it's going to be live streamed. And if it does get live streamed, I'll definitely put the link in the description and on my Tumblr and my Twitter and my other YouTube channel, which all the links will be in the description. I hope that you have an awesome Wednesday and gate forward.